since right now it's actually the first time we've had our president mention the word adani mm -hmm. uh because it's been mostly silent uh it would have been a silent deal but because of the whistleblowers we got a chance to hear about adani and as we know there's uh, uh, of course, the big argument about uh, a deal uh, about the airport, that's the most common. But of course, on the other hand, a another deal has already been signed. That's right. It is one of, to create um, transmission companies for the Kenya Energy Transmission Company, that's Ketraco. Can, uh, so there will be power lines that are made of, by this conglomerate that is, of course, led by the Adani Group. Now, the president uh, said that dealing with um, the Indian firm and creating deals with them to operate several key transmission lines are expected to reduce electricity costs in the coming months. Mm -hmm. how, how much is the deal? It's $95 billion, uh, with the Adani Energy for Electricity transmission lines as that continues we uh also would like to just have a clearer picture of what the deal really entails for example Mario, i feel like when a deal is signed mm -hmm. it's supposed to be put on the paper because that's our money because if if we're doing a deal or signing a deal with a different uh, country then we are supposed to be informed and told, okay, and these are the plans. And mm -hmm. it should be published on paper. I believe that that should be all right. Right. Even mm -hmm. before that, um, these are this is very key national infrastructure, mm -hmm. same as JKIA, to, of course, lease it to a conglomerate or have foreign companies um, doing work on something that is so critical to Kenya's uh, national security mm -hmm. and, you know, general development has to, of course, have proper scrutiny. It has to go through the right channels and all of that. Mm -hmm. Of course, that 30-year deal is the same as the one um, for JKIA's lease that's meant to happen. But there's questions over, A, the rushed nature of these deals, why they're happening now. Um, I we had two back-to-back national-wide blackouts. We also suddenly now have this savior come in the name of Adani to come and save us from national power blackouts. No, it actually... If if you're a person who follows stories uh, and reads between the lines, mm -hmm. you definitely know that there's something fishy. And of course, uh, President Ruto has said that his government is determined to fully transition the country from uh, fossil fuel to green energy in its uh, offer to combat climate change. Uh, he observed that at least uh, 84... 0.42% of power in the country was green with geothermal power contributing the largest share at 45.5% to the national greed. Uh, the promise here is that the agreement, uh, that's at least according to the government, aims to tackle, uh, that is our, our, our deal with uh, Adani, is set to tackle uh, the power outages. And I hope that that's the truth because sometimes the promises that are made when a deal is being signed and of course the possible outcomes, uh, they pretty much just go different ways. Again, very critical state infrastructure, your power transmission lines, your airports. Are those things you should be leasing to Again, foreign companies? Again, 30 years, Mariam? Mm -hmm. 30 years? Or living in the control of foreign